I don't like the narrative of the shark. It is weird that like because they don't. I know how to beat up a shark. Like they always tell He's you to hit punch it in the, it nose. In the nose. Yeah, and if you want to make it come, you squeeze its balls. <laughs> We have Rain Wilson coming in. Any thoughts about this leading up to Rain Wilson coming into our studio? Ian, go. I am so excited. Ten years ago, I exclusively exclusively used his quotes to pick up women in chats. Damn. In chats. Yeah, like when you talk to someone. Remember AIM? Sure. You would, I, I like would use office quotes is like my away message yeah and then oh, yeah. a girl would be like that's so funny i was like oh yeah you know oh, did you see this here he, episode? Comes. Here he is get Man. ready it's the best he looks very like he's like cool god he's hey, so cool right. he's like handsome and rugged and yeah. cool yeah. um he's got a whole team coming with him rain Posse, wilson hello up? hello hey, yes you up, do man? hi how are you how are you hi i'm nikki nice to hey. Nice see you. you or me well yeah. we i hate meet? to be that person Uh-oh. i i I, I don't like when people go it's nice to <laughs> meet <laughs> you <laughs> or it's nice to see you or me? again this is you. okay what's the story okay we I, it's actually a good story um we met at the tonight show in 2009 it was my first time doing stand-up on the tonight show and you were the guest on the show it was you me and I was filling in for Paul Abdul because she had, um, she, you know, a, a problem probably at the time. Woke up not feeling great, <laughs> so they called me the morning of, and um, and they asked me to fill in for Paul Abdul, and I did stand up in the second chair position, which is unheard of. Really. Oh wow! And then Hubastank was the musical guest. That is guest. very Ooh. weird. Wow, what a, I, what a weird. <laughs> And somewhat lame assemblage of talent for it's a talk show. I'm sorry. So, <laughs> throwing myself into oh, that as well. I was so excited that you were on. You made oh, it well, legitimate nice. and yeah. so exciting. I mean, it was... But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Yeah. My my celebrity star has waned in the sky of celebrity, <laughs> which maybe is a good thing. But now, like, I can't be, like, a first guest on a <laughs> talk know. show. Like, oh, you well, how do you down think Hoobastank the- feels? Uh, <laughs> 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 We're going after the stand-up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What's the reason? Uh, <laughs> it's so funny how that works. How like you know yeah. like when the office was on and we were getting nominated for awards, they would they would beg me to come on Letterman and be the first guest and stuff. And now it's just like, oh hey, I'm promoting this big movie. Could I be on there? Nah. Yeah. <laughs> nah. You've been through each side of it where you've seen yeah. you've you've gone you've been the first What yeah. does that feel like? Do you do you even let it get to you? Do you care? I mean, does it you know, it it dings your ego a little bit, but sure. I, for me, I don't I don't really care. I you know, I um I look, I I I had a great run. I I, I wasn't I'm a weird looking doofus I wasn't yeah. supposed no. to be a celebrity thank you that's Handsome why I need man. to shake your yeah. hand <laughs> I relate we're, yeah we're brothers from another mustachioed mother that's right uh, um, so you know it was such a great ride to get on that show and get to do that so it's all fine yeah. it's all fine yeah and your first seat on this show today so that's nice yeah, that's, well second I guess yeah, yeah. oh no <laughs> I'm the second guest on the radio show <laughs> oh man it's worse than you thought yeah. Yeah. Incubus is coming in they're that's gonna kick you out <laughs> yeah. Third eye blind. Yeah. Oh, I love that. <laughs> yeah, that'd actually be great. Well, yeah, I, they're pretty good. I, I actually, um, I remember I crept into your dressing room Uh-oh. when you were on, on the couch talking to Jay Leno because they didn't give me a bar in my room and I needed, I was drinking at the time and I was mm-hmm. like, I need a beer before I go out there and do my television date. Like, I don't go on stage without a beer in me. So I stole a beer from your, from your room nice. and chugged it right before I went on stage. Was, like I, was I nice to you or was I kind of you a were, dick? Of course you were nice to well, me. You were I, so nice. There's been times when I've been a dick. I'm sure, but like, it, it, you know, we all can be dicks, but in, in that kind of setting and I'm another piece of talent on this, you were so lovely. And I even, it was such an embarrassing moment for me because I went back and watched it and I didn't realize it at the time, but you were so lovely because I finished my set and I walked over to the couch um, and... You go, oh, it's hilarious, so funny, and I go, thanks, Dwight, and I call, and I <laughs> oh, called you, no. Dwight, on camera, so humiliatingly because I obviously knew your name. Get out. And, um, <laughs> and Get I, out. I know. <laughs> no. I know. I, it happens to you a lot, though. I'm, I'm assuming. Sure. Yeah, it happens all the time. Ugh. Yeah, people. Like, I'm really sorry. Never that on I was the Today Show. Yeah, usually not like other fellow performers in Hollywood. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dwight. It was but so guys embarrassing. on the street like Dwight. 
Dwight. Yo, Dwight, can you get a selfie? Ugh. Dwight, Dwight. Ugh. I get that a lot. I would uh, say every and day. And I want to say, you are so charming <laughs> and friendly that and 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 relevant. Yes, I will take a selfie with you. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> what do you do? Do you just go, no, like, what's your... What's your point? Fuck you. Yeah. Nice. No. Um, no, I, I I try to always give a nice photo to a respectful fan who's just being a decent human being and is yeah. a, mm-hmm. obviously a fan of the show. Yeah. But like drunken frat boys who are neither oh, drunk nor a frat right. boy um, <laughs> are... Is you know shouting Dwight across the street? I don't. I just yeah. I just yeah. ignore them. It's Good. easy to Good. Yeah. punish them. They should know. Yeah. Yeah. They should. They shouldn't. They shouldn't get what they Murder want all the time. I, I got, yeah, yeah. Kill I hoop them. skanked them. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Woo. <laughs> you got skanked. You got who? You got. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's a what delicate What was crazy thing. though? Sorry, Nikki. No, I know please. it's your show. The the it's craziest thing. Now. I went and did a play in Chicago, and um. The people like people in New York and LA, they're pretty savvy about celebrity and they're like, oh, and you could tell like they recognize you, but they're like, okay, there's celebrities around and whatever, we'll be respectful. In Chicago, I don't think they get any yeah. celebrities at all. <laughs> yeah. And it feels weird talking about myself as a celebrity, but you know, you're a celebrity. Whatever. Yeah. I'm a recognizable former sitcom figure. And but they they just go crazy. they just went crazy in Chicago. I mean, they would paw at my clothes oh. and grab my arm on the subway Whoa. and just like be shaking. A girl came up with tears running down her oh, face. Man. Oh, like, my God. They don't get any kind of celebrities. You would be huge <laughs> yeah. in Chicago. Yeah, you yeah. would. I'm going next weekend. Hell hey. yeah. What's your, what's your deal? Who are you? Isn't are you, he, he are you gets, a stand-up? He yeah. gets recognized on the street and he's not... He's not been on anything. Like people just want <laughs> people just want a picture with you. I know he's yeah. got a great. What is your name again? Ian Fidance. He, Fi, finance. Fidance. Uh, Fidance. Finance with a D. Yeah. Fidance. And he's Fidance. hilarious. He's um yeah. yeah he's just I feel like that, I want to manage your career. I, Let's do it. I feel like I want to like take him to Hollywood and be like, this is Ian Fidance. He, That's right. And he's an actor. I mean, he he will be someone that people will be screaming whatever your character name yeah. is eventually. Call at me in Chicago, baby. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they already yeah. do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that because yeah, you you are a a, a character actor guy, much like Rain was. Rain, I I looked, I was researching you this morning. You were in Almost Famous, which is one of my favorite movies. It's my first film, and I know. Tell me about that experience, and tell me about booking that movie. How exciting that was! I mean, that's a huge movie to book as your first film. Yeah, you know, um, I put myself on tape in New York, and then you know didn't hear anything. Like I didn't hear about anything for most of the auditions that I did <laughs> and then moved had moved to LA and then just got a call like you've got a call back and and uh, I was like holy shit and they were like you can read the script but it's under lock and key you have to go into Cameron Crowe's production office you have to sign in you have to sign an NDA and you can only read it in the office and you can't take it with you or take any pictures they confiscate any cameras or phone so I went it was like this sacred pilgrimage of like going down to vinyl films in Santa Monica and they brought it out like on a silver tray and like there was like a chorus of angels going yeah, yeah, yeah. like the suitcase and, in Pulp Fiction yeah exactly <laughs> lighting yeah, up yeah, yeah. and um, he uh, and it was and it's truly one of the great screenplays ever written especially the full one the like 200 page version full screenplay is uh, it's a novel you laugh you cry you're just and I sat there and read the whole thing. I was like crying and laughing. And of course, I was just auditioning for small roles, but uh, it was super cool. And then I went in and met Cameron Crowe, who's one of the he- coolest human beings. And I'm sitting on a little chair in his office, and he comes in in flip flops and sits cross legged on the floor in front of me what? Oh, with a little like handy cam to film the audition, but totally like disarming, like, hey man, I totally love that audition you did you were so funny and like let's figure out let's let's read these things and well, you have any ideas like uh, what you want to play or how you want to play it and just totally collaborative and uh, very very different experience wow. than auditioning for most people yeah it, it uh, I an ideal uh, audition I would say because yeah. you you felt comfortable and he was rooting for you in that moment yeah and he already liked what you had done and and you did do something really um you made a lot of 
hard choices on that character. I mean, it really stands out to me as soon as, and I didn't even realize it was you until I read that this morning. I was like, oh my God, of I course I know that like guy. The ends in that. That's yeah, right. you were you worked at Rolling Stone. And, and the character was yeah. the editor. Yeah, he was an editor at Rolling Stone. Uh, Dave, and now I'm blanking on the name because because he's an actual per- based on an actual person. Yes, and he's. Uh, and I met him. He came by the set when we were shooting, and uh, he was Cameron's mentor uh, as a young writer. Oh, so, wow. wow. And in fact, when I read the script, there was an amazing scene of this guy, Dave, with the kid at the airport. And it's a two page scene all about like writing and you know what it means to fall in love with a band, but don't fall in love too much because you've got to be a journalist and, and just about life and. I was like, so when I got cast, that scene was still in the script, and then they called me like a month or two later, and like that scene's been cut. I was like, oh, Oh. you get this role, and you're so excited. Yeah, Yeah. it's it's still, oh man, you still really shine in that film, and um, I I just love that 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 was your first film because what had you been doing up until that point? I I went to NYU, and Mm -hmm. I was doing theater in New York for the most part. So I spent Mm -hmm. ten years doing Shakespeare and just little plays some big plays i was in a few broadway things and and regional theater and i just i went for classical i'm not in the i'm not in the comedy world people always think i was like a stand up or a sketch comedian or improv guy i never did any of that stuff wow. i just played weird characters in in plays which kind of worked for dwight you know to transition into that role from from doing Shakespearean clowns to Dwight is actually mm-hmm. not that far of, it a, isn't. of a shift. Yeah, you, you know? bring that to that role. That really makes a lot of sense to me that you, um, yeah, it's, uh, I want to ask you about the movie that you are currently in and out, and that is the reason you're here. It's called The Meg. It's based on, um, the. I didn't know what it, I just thought it was about a girl in a sorority. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the uh, yeah, yeah. Meg. She's haunting the sorority. <laughs> Yeah, and, you guys. Uh, it's the megalodon, which is the yes, extinct the shark. shark. Yes. Um, and this is a uh, this is a a, a, a monster movie, and yes. um, and you play a scientist. No, or a, I um, no, you play I'm the guy. I'm so that glad le- you did uh, the, your research. I did. You go, you let him out. <laughs> um, wrong. My, oh my favorite God. part of the trailer is when you tell oh. Jason Statham that he had an attitude problem. Yeah, yeah. That was great. <laughs> um, no, I so I play Morris, who is a billionaire uh, an industrialist who funded the whole scientific operation and built this underwater lab that the scientists in it discover this kind of like this air, secret area of the ocean that's never been uncovered before and they go down under it and then they unleash the megalodon who comes up into the waters to chomp on thousands of people yes and you shot this in new zealand we shot in new zealand amazing as three months in new zealand which is the most incredible country on earth yeah it's incredible Had you been there before i'd never been there before it's amazing if you get a chance to go it's a long ways but man it's it's spectacular and uh, yeah, it was like one of those dream jobs. It's like, oh, you're gonna pay me all this money, and I'm gonna be in New Zealand with Jason Statham, and cool, this is awesome. But you spent a lot of time on a boat filming. Yes. Yeah. So we spent a few weeks on a boat out in the actual ocean and shot some stuff out there. But most of it was that same boat that we we're on in the ocean. It's so weird how they do these things in movies. They they made another version. They made two boats, and then that second one they cut in half. And then we were shot on the back of that half uh. of a boat in a tank, in a giant, giant tank about the size of a soccer field Whoa. that's like six feet deep. And they put that boat in the tank. And then and the giant green screens around it and, and the cameras, and they could kind of rotate the boat and um, and turn it and stuff like that. So we, yeah, we spent months uh, on, yeah. the, on that on that boat, but we had a lot of fun. It was a, it's a really fun ensemble of people. I mean, it sounds like it, and and you were there during the election. You said you were like out on the water oh, wow. yeah. when you were tr- when the results oh, were coming weird. in. That was so weird. Can you tell me <laughs> Take about us that? Take to Canada. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I'm just staying. I'm staying in New Zealand. Uh, the um, I was out on the harbor, and we were shooting this chase scene with a. The shark is chasing, about to devour Jason Statham, and um, that it was like one p.m. But the 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 polls had already closed, and and I was just hit, keep hitting refresh on my CNN app, and yeah. the results were coming in, and there were there were 
only two other Americans. There were was Paige Kennedy, who doesn't didn't care, and uh, John Turtletop, who's directing the film, who was so busy, you know, directing a hundred and fifty million dollar film that he didn't have the time to care. So it was just me, and the other people are Australians and yeah, you know, Icelandic <laughs> people and people from England, and they they kind of cared but didn't really. But it was. It was. Oh, ah, that's yeah. isolating, man. Yeah. That's brutal. The it scariest is. monster of all, the yeah. Megalodonald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> um, did you grow up liking um, these? The, how, let me just talk to you about sharks. How did you feel about sharks going into this? What was your knowledge of them? Are you scared of them? Are you someone who enjoys the ocean? I, um, yeah, I like the ocean. I'm a real wimp around the ocean, so. Um, People say, oh, do sharks scare you? It's like, yeah, sharks scare me, but you know what else scares me? Salmon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? You were talking about that earlier. You are talking about going uh, scuba diving. Seaweed would creep me oh, out. Yeah, kelp, yeah. kelp yeah. brushes kelp. against my thigh. I'm like, ah! Oh, yeah. ah, 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 I don't want to be touched. I don't like bugs and stuff. Yeah, I like yeah. barnacles. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. like... All that, so I get, I get yeah. squeebed out by all manner of Even things. Even the water, the tides, uh -huh. like the that's the thing yeah. that scares me the most. Is like oh, you like got a rip tide. Yeah, you, you got to swim parallel to the shore. There, you got to have all these plans. You got to punch Lifeguards. a shark in the gotta nose if it comes up to you. Nose, you got to yeah. swim parallel to the shore. You got to remember the, all these things the out there. The punch in the nose thing is kind of what you do. The main thing that you have to do, which is seems so counterintuitive, uh -huh. is to just float there. And do nothing. No. That sounds like something the sharks put in your head. <laughs> that sounds like more bad news from Big yeah. Shark. Yeah. The shark's PR firm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's like, tell the humans to just lie there. Yeah. But, Take you know, it. Cut yourself. Uh, seals <laughs> seals splash around, yeah. and that's when the sharks go. So uh, supposedly, if you just lay there, yeah. they kind of smell you, and then maybe have a your surf suit on, your, uh -huh. your wetsuit, and then they're like, ask. Ah, Bucket, you know. Yeah, yeah. They, I mean, most shark attacks are just a shark tasting you and going, mm. Ugh, I don't like oh. that. And so when people get bit by sharks, it's usually just a just a Which sample. I'm kind yeah. of offended by a little bit. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, what's wrong yeah. with us hey, humans? I, I taste oh, good. Our sea have you tried to taste a seal? Has anyone had seal sushi? They're I've disgusting. Never had seal. Like humans are delicious. Lisa yeah. start eating seal. That is offensive. I think sharks yeah. are racist against humans. Oh my That's god. True. Thank you. Finally, Finally someone right. said it. Yes. yes. I think we need Hashtag. to I think we need to fire these shark sharks. Racism. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> shark racism. Get them out of the water. I mean, this, this has is... gone on long enough. You're eat me. sharks. That's a bumper sticker. Hey sharks, eat me. Uh, <laughs> I would love I I would like I was doing um as part of Shark Week, I was doing Shark After Dark, this like show, and, and we were talking about- Is that a euphemism? For yeah, it sounds like it a does. sex show a sex on Cinemax. Uh, yeah. It, yeah. it would have been- Shark After Dark. It was- Take a bite. Oh, there was a shark expert is so on. Thick. Yeah. And I was asking him about all these things, and um and and the bite, I would love to get bit by a shark. If I can guarantee what? to get bit by a shark and then not die from it- What, like a little teething? Or like a whole chunk? Just to have chunk? a scar, a shark scar. I think that girl that has one arm is so cool. You know the girl that was young? and yeah, got bit the surfer I, I think she is so I mean I'm not I don't want that but like uh -huh. I, what a great were you great... on Shark Week with the guy who lost his arm or arms no, from because no. there's a guy covered in scars with one arm who had it lost an Australian guy to a shark Wow. and they're like wow that's so cool we're going to make you the host of Shark Week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be so triggering for him every day. He's legit, you know. Yeah. Wow. I mean, yeah, I I I think sharks are so fascinating and I I think that I I care about them a lot and oh, and want people sweet. to know about them and know that although these movies are fun and sensationalized and and make us scared of sharks that they're really not there's so many more things to worry about sharks in the ocean than sharks. Too. Literally, <laughs> I'm worried. way more worried about humanity than uh, sharks. Oh my god. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. And uh but also, like, it's it is a even if you died by shark, what a way to go! What a way yeah. to go. Oh, you're cool. gonna die anyway. That is cool. The yeah. best. Yeah, you're probably gonna die choking on raisin bran yeah. someday, and it'd be way better to go out. By I shark. was one, go out with I dignity. remember one time I borrowed my handyman's van to go down to Home Depot and pick up some stuff, and I was. And I pulled out kind of onto the street, light traffic, and started going. And I was like, oh, the seat was like too far back. So I went, bent down to kind of pull the seat forward to, to hit the little <laughs> thing. And then my finger got stuck. No. Like literally, <laughs> as it slid forward, it <sighs> slid over my finger. It didn't like chop it off or anything, right. but it was like weirdly stuck. And I was <laughs> trying to drive this big van with my finger under the thing. And I was already kind of in the traffic and I couldn't find a place. Oh, yeah. And I was like, I am going to die. 
in this van with my <laughs> finger under the seat, and they're going to take a photograph of me. TMZ is going to come over, and I'm going to look like I'm going to look so grotesque and pathetic. <laughs> like I'd much rather get eaten by a shark. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. You should have a deal where, like, uh, in your will, it should say, like, "Hey, if I die like that, plant a shark on the scene." <laughs> yeah. So it looks yeah, like yeah, yeah. That was part of it. <laughs> yeah. You can make big money. <laughs> From that, like shark planting service. I always think about that, like those those times where you go, oh my god, I could have just died just then, yeah. and that would have been the story. I always think about on Dawson's Creek. Dawson's dad died because he was licking an ice cream cone, and it like fell off into the seat next to him, and he tried to like reach for it, oh, and it yeah. swerved off a cliff. Oh god! I have done that with Froyo yeah. so many times. I know somebody like, who died the like spoon. that. Yeah, I, well, they were making a bologna sandwich by reaching in the back seat. It's like a cousin of my grandma or something but I was like yeah that's a dumb way to go I fell into a river once and when I fell in I went and I spun around and that would have been my last words (laughs) a pirouette and a (laughs) (laughs) for some reason I think that's how you're gonna go anyway yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're gonna get some kind of weird disease and on your deathbed you'll go (laughs) I hope I hope that's my last words (laughs) Rain Wilson, thank you so much for being here. You're such a great guest. Thanks, you guys. This was a this, this was a hoot. This was yeah. a treat, was a true treat for all of us. We were so excited to meet you and see yeah. you, and um and and you just blew us. You're just awesome. Oh. Rain Wilson, everyone. We'll be back with more show after this.